doing really well. We um, we're putting in some new some new offense uh, offenses that have you know taken a lot of time, and it's been great. You know, I think typically players dread 30 practices in 40 days before their first game, and especially seniors probably. So I think I think they haven't dreaded these 30 days because of kind of some new stuff we're doing. So that's been good, but the energy is great, and the seniors especially are really impressive, and the juniors are actually doing well too. So it's been been really good. Yeah. Well, uh, the seniors have high expectations, and they are a super impressive group. I have never had a team quite like this with, you know, four returning starter seniors. They truly, I think, my style as a coach is to try to get the players to in some ways kind of run the organization, you know, run practice in some ways. And these women are more talented at that than anybody I've ever worked with. And, you know, they just are really, truly driving the competitiveness every day, um, kind of setting the standards, holding people accountable, really, really impressive, and playing very well themselves. The juniors, we're trying to already begin molding them for next year to assume a lot of responsibility, and they're doing great. Uh, Chloe is shooting the ball, Chloe Stapleton, incredibly, incredibly well. Amazingly well. Um, Aaron Metter is at it. Um, just being a utility player, doing a lot of things great, really fierce competitor. Um, our sophomores are, we have Perry Curtis, who did not play a lot last year. Um, Chelsea Terry, who did not play a lot last year. And Rebecca Richmond, who was kind of our eighth man last year. I think that's it for sophomores. And Rebecca did suffer a knee injury Sunday in our scrimmage, um, so we're kind of waiting for the results of that. But that has been um, difficult just in a couple of days to think about. She's a great role player for us. And then the freshmen are doing well. It's a good freshman class, um, better than we typically have, I think, as freshmen. And in particular, we have, we have a couple point guards in that class because Kara Pollinger is going to be graduating, and we don't really have anybody else in the junior and sophomore class. And these two are really good. I like them a lot, these two freshman point guards. Um, one of them can play the two as well. And and then we have kind of a big guard in that class, Ashanti Kennedy. And then we have a walk-on in that class. So they are, I think, you know, as seniors, you love to kind of have some freshmen that they get you excited to show up to practice and um, who pick things up pretty well and who are competitive and I don't know, you just kind of want that. It's kind of like your last year. And it, it, I think it makes you feel better as a senior that you're kind of leaving the program to some people um, that have some ability. And this freshman class definitely meets that expectation. Um, yeah, hmm, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it wears us down. You know, we haven't always gotten out of the gates really well in the preseason with our results, you know, in our first, like, 14 games. So I think that has – we already, you know, like every team thinks about our internal expectations more versus external. But when you're getting out of the gates, like, somewhat slower, I think you especially are focused on internally what you need to be doing. You know, that being said, last year we had this stretch where, you know, had we beaten um, High Point on our home court in the tournament after this big win over East Carolina – and then had we not given the game away to UC Davis in the second game of this tournament in Houston, Texas, we would have actually had about an eight-game winning streak right in December, which, you know, we've never had anything like that. But we didn't, you know. And then we, you know, we get an 18-point 18, 18 lead at Richmond and end up losing, you know, 18-point lead the first half but on the road and end up losing. Um, great game with Princeton on the road, end up losing, and then we go in the Patriot League. So, we, you know, we're like hobbled going into the Patriot League, you know what I mean, coming off of two losses on the road to two good teams. So, you know, this year, yeah, again, you know, last year we had no seniors, so maybe the expectations weren't quite as high. The year before we just had Aaron Edwards as a senior and Angela Myers and Cassie Constantine had graduated, so maybe the expectations weren't that high. We've only, we've never won the regular season outright, as, as you know. Um, you know, last year there was so much talk about Army because they were sort of surprising people and had this great freshman. And 
So somehow, you know, the spotlight hasn't always shown like super brightly on us. And I think it will shine the brightest this year for sure. You know, we do have seniors. We have won the tournament championship three years in a row. So, um, but I, I feel used to that and, you know, just in my career. And I think these women are too. And, oh my gosh, incredibly, they complement each other. It's, it's really amazing. Um, and I was just the other day, I was realizing, I mean, Kara Pollinger, how good she is. You know, she made a play in practice yesterday that I just walked over to an assistant. I'm like, can you believe that play she just made? Like, and how talented she has become. And, and Alex has, yesterday in practice, she jumped higher than I've ever seen someone in our practice jump. And she tipped the ball and, like, hit the, the net as she swiped at it. You know, I'm like... She's just so athletic and was so competitive in that moment. And it was just like, um, you know, the, the person that, that is not necessarily any different this year than she has been is actually Jade. And some of that is because of the offenses that we're doing, and they just don't really suit her great. Um, we're getting to the parts that suit her great, but we didn't, we didn't start out with those parts. Um, so she's the one that is not exactly in a rhythm, playing with a lot of confidence right now. Um, so she, if you were to come to our practice, she would seem pretty normal to you. But, and Audrey is just, um, just her, you know, her movement off the ball and her, you know, her range and her confidence in her shot. And, you know, Alex, her ability to find people and, yeah, no, they work together incredibly well. And, um... You know, I didn't let them practice together on the same teams for a while, you know, just trying to spread them out with some of the younger players and get their confidence up. And only recently have I put them together as starters, and it's, it's pretty cool. I think they're 100% willing, you know. Um, and I think especially if we're, if we're successful with it, you know, that's ultimately what they want. They really like their teammates. They really like all these underclass um, women and... They, they love to see them succeeding. Um, and I think that's, you know, kind of the Naval Academy, too, you know, is very much, um, I think, a selfless type of student that goes here. And so I think they understand, you know, and are, yeah, 100% willing, as long maybe, as we're successful. <laughs> right, maybe knowing that they have to pass the torch to the next group mm -hmm. if they want the program to continue to be successful. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and they'll be ready because, I mean, I feel a ton of respect from them. And so, you know, they'll be ready and they'll trust that, you know, those games where they, they are needed for 32 minutes a game, like, they're totally ready. And, yeah. Well, in the scrimmage, it was more so than I thought. You know, we the seniors only played, like, 24 minutes each, which, you know, after the game, seeing that kind of surprised me. But, you know, knock on wood, um, I was just... Uh, saying this to one of our former assistants that we finally have depth in the Navy women's basketball program. We've really never had that. And, you know, of course, a couple of days later is when Rebecca Richmond gets hurt in a scrimmage. So a little less depth than I thought I was going to have. But, um, yeah, no, I think, so I'm excited that this happens to be the first year that I think we've had good depth. And it's great timing with the graduation of those five women, you know, next year. So is that kind of what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always really enjoyed doing that in my career, kind of playing people. Um, last year, I think if you look, I, I do think four of our starters averaged more than 30 minutes a game, which is not typically what I like to do, so I don't think. And I, of course, talked with the seniors about that and needing their buy-in and that sacrifice, and you know, right. and I think they're totally on board. Having won the 